Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another LEGO Robotics tutorial. Uh, we're working with the EV3 kit, which is the newest at the moment. And as you can see here, I have the LEGO, I have the robotics kit sorted out into the right compartments. If you haven't do, done that already, please check out our previous tutorial. So let's briefly explain what is inside these kits. And if you can think of the red box as uh, parts of the robot, and if you think of the black box as the electronics behind the robot. So basically, in the red box, there is no electronics inside at all. They're just parts that you can put together. Whereas on the right hand side, in the black box is where we have the mini computer, the motors, the sensors and all that, all the electronic stuff are on the right hand side in the black box with a few exceptions. So let's start by looking at the brick which is the most important thing in your Lego robot because without a brick okay without a program programmable brick it's just like any other toy you can't do anything with it electronically. So when you're having a look at this robot, you will see that it has a few ports at the top and a few ports at the bottom. So let me explain to you what the ports do. The top four ports where it says A, B, C and D are the output ports. And the output ports are connected to the motors. Okay, the motors is this huge one here that looks a little bit like an arm but it's actually a motor because once it's connected to the brick the brick can send a command to make the motor rotate ro rotate and that in turn is going to make something else move okay so a b c d they're called output ports because the robot is producing an output Okay, it's giving us some information in the form of movement. It's making the motors move. So remember A, B, C, D are connected to motors which make the robot move. And then if you have a look at uh, below the brick, we have four input ports. One, two, three, and four are input ports. And what input means is how we send information into the robot. Okay, and some, uh, and what you connect to the input port, an example of that is a sensor. And you can see here right now is a touch sensor. So what that means is we can touch it and the robot will sense that this button was pushed and it will do something in response to that. So something you can do in response to your touch could be to start a motor or to stop a motor or to rotate or to do something else or play a sound or something like that. So basically the brick has uh, input down the bottom and output on the top and you're gonna connect them all together. Okay so let's start by connecting a sensor and a motor. Okay so let's do that. Let's take two of these cables out of the box. So these cables look like your uh, network or network cables or phone lines or something, but they're just cables that connect your um, sensors and motors to your brick. So let's get two of these cables. Right, now we're going to connect them together. So with your main brick right let's put one of these cables in the top port port a hook it together and then uh a b c d connect to the motors right so hook it up to one of these big ones here right put it in right so now the Brick is connected to the motor, and then we're going to connect the touch sensor to the bottom of the brick. Alright, so hook it up. 
here and uh, hook up the touch sensor here. Right. So now um, the brick is connected to the touch sensor and to a motor. Okay, so how is this useful to us? Well, we need to be able to turn the brick on. So where is the source of power for the brick? Well, if you have a rechargeable battery, which might come separately to the box, okay, you need to charge it up to be able to use it. Okay, so unfortunately I don't have a charger with me because it wasn't inside the box. So uh, I need to use these batteries. Okay, so I'm going to put the batteries into the brick. Probably should have done that before I connected anything. So let's put the batteries in. Six AA batteries. All right, put them in. Close them. Okay, now it's all closed together. And since you're in, you should be able to turn the robot on. Okay, so now you should be able to press the button in the middle and it turns on. Okay, 